there was a hundred threads of people giving him advice and he had a hundred threads of why that would work, <laughs> you know? And so if we can't have a mindset to be able to change and to be able to push forward, it doesn't matter what you do. You know, if you have a negative mindset, you're not going to grow a business. You're going to fail at it every time because any little thing that comes up, you're not going to be overcoming it. But if you have a positive mindset, you might have to shift, you know, I'm in Northern Kentucky and my, my, my area was almost 45 minutes to 50 minutes where my honey hole was. It was right. You know, Loveland, Mason, Montgomery, all up North, which was an was, hour. Jason was taking all of our potential clients and making them his because <laughs> he can do what he can do. He was just dialed in. He's there. Because that's where my business was, right? That's mm -hmm. where the people that are making $150,000, $200,000 a year, that's where my customer was. Down here in Northern Kentucky wasn't my, I mean, we did okay down here, but I would run two, three trucks up there versus one truck down here. And so, you know, you sometimes got to go where the business is. And, you know, I had a guy on the week before and he's in the middle of nowhere, Tennessee. He's about an hour south of Franklin, but he did a hundred thousand his very first year doing pressure washing. And he's in the, you know, he's an hour south of even Franklin. So he's pretty far down in the Tennessee area and he's still being able to do it. So when I hear excuses, a lot of times that just drives me crazy and that really gets me going. So that's kind of why I was on that tangent yesterday. There's a funny, uh, corollary if that's the right word to one of the questions that sean developed in his recruiting system which like because we try to vet this out in recruiting is that attitude because yeah some business owners have it and business owners i get it like we've been beat down we have to overcome that negative attitude because you can't you can't scale a business you can't grow a business you can't be successful if woe is me right if the world's out to get me you're not going to be successful. And we all kind of know that, but we all get trapped by it too. Cause it feels like that some days, but when we recruit employees, the question that Sean asks, and it's like the most valuable question is rate your luck on a scale of like zero to 10, 10 being your super lucky zero being your super unlucky. And you get that person rates themselves a zero because the world's out to get them and everything is like somebody else caused it. And the person that rates themselves a 10 or high and or, or just says like, luck isn't a thing, right? You create your own luck, you figure it out. Like that person can solve problems and doesn't get sidetracked by it's everybody else's fault and it's the world's fault. Like, yeah, these are the conditions and now I'm just gonna figure out how to work within them and go do what I gotta do. It makes a difference.